Hello and welcome to the first video in this new World Hunter series. As I've begun to play World Hunters again and really enjoyed update 17. In this first video, we are going to cover the basics of an anti-cheating mod or a more anti-grieving mod that I can highly recommend for my own server. The mod's name is Open Parties and Claims and it is linked in the description down below. How this mod works. If we say that I want to claim this village here for my next build, then I'll have to go on the minimap. So pressing minimap button for me, it's M. Minimap is automatically installed with the Waterlands mod pack. And just click or hover on a chunk. If you right click on the chunk, you see claim selected as a new option. And then you can just click that and that chunk is now yours. If you drag the mouse over multiple chunks, you can claim all these chunks as, as ones. The next thing I would do is go into your open parties and claim settings. For me, this is the button P and that opens your player config menu. As you can see, for me, I am in a party at the moment, but I'm going to come back to that later. The first thing you want to do is open the player config menu. And if you are not the server admin, you are not going to be able to open these settings as they are only for admins. And you can only open the my player config. So you can click on that. And then here you can see all of these settings. Now there are a lot, but they are relatively easy to understand and you don't need to change most of them. The first thing is your sub config to edit. If you want to claim multiple parts, one for example for your farms and one for your base, you can just create a new sub config by entering the name here. And then you are in a new sub config and then you can just click claim with test. This is the name of my config here. And that will claim your chunk with the new sub config. If you delete that config afterwards, all claimed chunks will be converted into your main sub config. And see, there's a little chat message. And now all chunks that would have been claimed with test are claimed with main again. If you want to change the name, you can just click in the button. and click on the button here. And then if you go back, you can see under the minimap or on the minimap itself, that these chunks are now named outposts. And then there's my name because I have claimed this area. Then if we can go back, you can also change your color. This here, you can just input any hex code. So if we go onto the internet and search a hex code creator, you can input your color there and then copy the hex code to that area here and then it will change the color on your map. And then there is the party name, which we are going to come back in just a second, and then a whole lot of settings. You don't need to change most of them. The default config is fine, but Things I would change is if you have allies, you can enable that they can see you on the map or that they can um, break blocks in your chunks. As you can see here, protect from my allies parties is on. If you set, turn it to off, if you have allied parties, like some other players that are not with you in a team, but you're friends with them, you can turn that off and then they can break blocks in your claims. And yeah, then you can see there are a whole lot of settings for each thing the mod, the mod saves your chunks from. And this is mainly it. 
a few settings I would suggest to change is firstly, this one here, interact doors to every. So every player who is in your base or in your claim chunks can now open um, wooden doors, fence gates and trap doors. So they don't get stuck in your base somewhere. You can do the same with chests and barrels if you want to, but I turn that off. And I also have the same for ender chests. If they want something from their own ender chest, as they can't access your ender chest, you can just hit it, turn that to every as well. And the rest I would just keep on the default configs, except maybe interact with bats so they can sleep in your bags to bats to skip the night. And then the last thing we need to cover are parties. To create your party, there is a command everyone can access and it's open pack and then parties. So open parties and claims of the mod and then claims, you can claim chunks over the console, which is not necessarily because Vault Hunters has the minimap already installed. And if you go to parties, you can here create a party or leave your current party and change a member. For example, if you, I have a member and I want to rank a member, then I can say I want to put them to moderator and then input their name. And depending on the rank, they have different abilities in the open parties and claims mod. And if you have done that, you can enter your party name right here, as I did here, and everyone you invite can interact with blocks that are claimed by another player. If you have changed your mind about something or about your claim, you can just do the same as before, drag click or right click on the chunks and then click unclaim selected and then it unclaims the chunks and now anyone else can build here or claim these chunks. And if you look on the Minimap, if you want to change what anyone can do in unclaimed areas, you can do that in the admin mode by changing the wilderness settings, or wilderness configs here. And to show you what, how this works, if you are in another claim, I've traveled to a claim of another person on my server. As you can see, he has, um, changed it so that allied parties can break blocks. I can break blocks here. But if I visit a third person and to this claim, as you can see, I can't interact with this block and it says the same if I often this and do and with face stones, as you can see, you can, I can interact so I can leave this claim if I want to. And that is how it's going to look for other people in your claim. So they are protected. See, I can't attack anything or something like that. And also mob griefing is getting overruled by open parties and claims. So if someone else explodes the creeper in your base, nothing is going to get destroyed. So I'm back in my own base. And with that, I'm going to end this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you want to watch more, there's plenty more to come and on my channel about the Void Hunters mod pack and I hope you have a nice day and see you soon.